<laughs> hey folks, I've got a brand new project going on here in the homestead. And it has to do with water, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm on the homestead up by the well because we're going to be uh, doing some homestead improvements in uh, augmenting the water supply system. Uh, let me explain. Now, I have a series, a video series on building the well house. The well house measures four foot by four foot by four foot. And I built it out of all recycled, repurposed material. The only things I bought for the well house was maybe some hinges and the paint to make it look aesthetically pleasing to the eye and kind of fit in with the overall color scheme for Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. The reason why I made the well so small is when it gets really frigid outside, occasionally we get, uh, we can get 10 degrees below zero Fahrenheit here in the Pacific Northwest, and we call that a uh, Polar uh, Express or whatever they call those things. Anyway, uh, the last one that hit was right after we moved into the farm and everything in the well froze and broke in the old well house. So I built this new well house. So the reason why this well house is smaller is because I can put a little light bulb inside of that small area and a smaller space heats a lot quicker and a lot easier and a lot cheaper than a big old grand mansion of a well house which I simply don't need. So that's why I just built this little well house which is perfectly sufficient for what we need. You will note that uh, it's, in, it's got <laughs> Brazilian cherry hardwood flooring on the interior surfaces. So it gives it a double wall um, uh, insulation. There is no insulation in this well house. I didn't need it. I didn't think I needed it because it simply doesn't get that cold too often. So when it does get that frigid temperature, uh, I just put a light bulb in here and plug it in and it's sufficient enough to keep everything uh, above freezing because it is a small space and I designed it specifically where the roof just lifts off and uh, This just folds back and the service truck can come in here and service the well no problem So this is what I've got for my water and I just installed this little hose bib a couple of years ago to service water service out here in the back area and I got a video on that, but that's not what this video is about no, I'm going to reconfigure this whole thing and we're getting it ready for going completely off grid. Uh, my well pump is down the shaft. It runs on two phase, it's 220, not 110. And that means there's two 110 legs that come up here with a neutral leg and services this well. Well, yeah, well. Um, I'm configuring it to go off grid. Let me explain. The wiring runs through a conduit underground going into the service box next to my shed where all my solar package is. The charge controller, the inverter, the generator, the batteries. Ah, the generator. My solar package only runs 110, 4000 watts. It doesn't run 220. So, how I'm going to get the well to run is the generator that comes on for a maintenance run once a week or every time it does come on when we need extra power and service the batteries, it will turn on the well pump. I will uh, disconnect this pump system from the grid 
So when the generator comes on, the generator will be powered by propane. And then it'll turn the generator or turn the uh, well on and the well will then pump water. Well, where's that water going to go? That's the clue right here where I'm standing. We're bringing in a bunch of rock and sand. We're going to build a big pad, approximately 10 foot square, because I just purchased today a big 2,500 gallon uh, storage water tank. And that's what that well wall pump is going to do when the generator comes on. We'll pump the water into the tank. The tank will stay full from every time that generator comes on. And then the, this big well water holding tank will then be hooked up through, you know, with a check valve and some other valves. So only flow out one way into the main service line to the house. So it's gravity feed. So, and it's all regulated with a pressure regulator in there. So we're going to connect it right into the system next to the well. So we shouldn't have any problems. And I calculated with three people using the amount of water we currently use. Uh, we, uh, that, that tank will last us uh, probably about a month, um, except for during the summer times. I'll be installing all drip irrigation on the garden and in the greenhouse to conserve on water usage because just turning the water on and running with the sprinklers, I'm using too much water. So we're going to go to a drip irrigation method and try to get completely off grid because this water situation, that's one of my main concerns about how to continually supply us with water when we're no longer on the grid and I don't have the funds to go sink another uh, 12 volt pump down my well. Eventually I will. I'll have some backup redundant systems but right now uh, I just came into some money. Thank you my YouTube viewers for viewing uh, the amount of videos that you viewed. The advertisers that you see they're the ones that provided this tank to me. So that's it in a nutshell on how I am going to jerry-rig the water system for the homestead and when we do get hit with the big big gigantic mega quake that we're expecting off the coast of Oregon on the Cascadia slip uh, if it doesn't disturb the water table too much if we can still pump water out of the ground then we've got water service uh, so long as I can get propane uh, but if I can't get propane well, that's my next project. My next big project is uh, purchasing a couple of very large propane bottles to store up uh, a hopefully uh, three to six years of propane if we need it. So that's the next goal for Pine Meadows Hobby Farm and trying to just primarily get everything ready, not for disaster, but, but it is the, the uh, side effect is, is we're prepared for disaster. But this is the primary reason is I'm getting old. Yep, I'm getting old. And I'm getting ready to retire. And what I'm trying to do is get everything paid down, all the infrastructure in place, and try to mitigate as much out of pocket expense as I possibly can simply by putting these features in place. And that way when I retire, all my retirement benefits is all stuff I can use with just whatever I, I need to use it for. And like, uh, oh, well, to pay the property taxes. And everything else will be, hopefully, we can do it as long as I physically can, producing our own food, uh, the systems in place for producing our own power. And all I have to purchase every so often, every couple of years, is a, a load of propane, which is a couple thousand dollars uh, every couple of years. We'll see how it goes. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you on this uh, part one of this building project series and establishing a, a new water system or augmenting the water system. Stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, uh, clicking that bell icon alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Uh, also giving me a thumb up and uh, a sharing our videos also helps out our channel. 
Le please leave a comment, a question, or a compliment. I don't mind compliments. Nobody minds compliments. It's kind of nice. You may also follow me on social media. I'm qu uh, currently posting on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, Blogger, Tumblr. Uh, I'm on um, Parlor, and I'm also on Instagram. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for that one. I'm working on another building project series. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Bye-bye.